200 of years ago, Beethoven performed Ninth Symphony. He was trying to talk to everybody. Of course, he may not imagine he was talking to me. I mean, 200 years later, I'm standing here in Shanghai. Listen, that's the heartbeat of Shanghai. And hear this, that's the wine and the blood moving. That's the people and the city. But to me, this is Beethoven. Da, 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 da. You can feel the whole world is uh, vibrating. And the music from Beethoven actually had all the code there already. And I'm trying to decode Beethoven. The rhythms. Jam, bam, 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 bam. The nine. Nine in Chinese pronounced like a jiu. Jiu has three meanings. One is the nine. Digital nine. One, two, three, four, nine. Two, jiu. It means the spirit of wine. The wine. Three, jiu means Everlasting. The first poetry and the first poet of China is Chu Yuan. It's about uh, more than 2,000 years ago. The title Jiu Ge, the Song of Nine. Nang, I thought. From a Chu Yuan to Sheila, from me, a slave of Beethoven, talk to my master Beethoven. It's a great game. It's a great spiritual game. Why not start with the nine songs? Sometimes you feel when you want to reach Beethoven here, you have to pass this, this, this book, that book, tradition. Then what to do, what to do with all those traditions coming to Beethoven is here. Then here, it gets too complicated. And one day I was thinking to myself, forget it. Forget about this, forget about it, forget it, forget everything, forget it. Just go to Beethoven. Here is Beethoven. Come on, heart to heart, eye to eye, ear to ear. Now, I find the answer. Spiritually, talking to the Beethoven is not me. It's the nature. It's the people.
is the east. Composing is a very, very personal business.